Hello, hello. <laughs> Sorry about that. A little bit of a last minute scramble there. All right. Welcome to Coffee Craft Season Zero with your host, Anon Jr. Woo. Okay. <laughs> little, 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 little bit cutting it close to the wire. I had, I had a little bit of trouble switching the channels, but okay. We got that. It's squared away. Uh. Let's see, today I was going to go take another look at the redstone for the lighthouse. I made one small change between the uh, last week's stream and now um, that I'll go over. And then I was actually thinking about a little bit of a nostalgia trip. Um, I, I came across a folder that has a whole bunch of old world saves. And I was hoping that uh, when Arcadius and Reyes got back, we could actually... Uh, take a little trip down memory lane with some of them. It's going to require a little version switching and hopping back and forth between a couple of different things, but I don't, I don't think that'd be too big of a deal. Um, but we'll see when they're available. All right. So if you remember, I had a complicated jumble of elevated wool and redstone and madness. And this is the part where I admit to being a bit of an idiot. And apparently redstone under pressure is not my strong suit because I forgot when you power the redstone lamp with the repeater like these are here and like they were before it powers the lamp it's connected to and the lamp above it, below it, and to the left and to the right. And so here I am trying to power a three high block oil lamps from the bottom putting the stupid repeater on the middle row means that it's going to power the ones above and below it as well. So no complicated over under layered yada yada, just run it all across the middle row, just like I have here. So this gets us the same effect as what we left with last week. Just simpler, you know, using less redstone and resources and brain power. Um, yeah, so I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a, all right, I'm a little embarrassed by that one. Uh, but, you know, that, that that's what happens sometimes. The next step is to try to figure out if I can make this thing rotate, but that might be an effort for another day. And I think I'm going to have to do some measurements because the more I look at this, the more this seems just a little too tight to make the whole thing work um, in the space allowable just because these are right up next to each other and I just can't figure out a way. Um, I got a couple of different clocks that should get me a rotating signal that'll run around and around and around. The problem is I can't figure out how to light up a side and not the sides I don't want with it packed as closely as it is. At least that's where I'm at at the moment. Um, I might be able to make that work. If I start playing with the selective powering of some blocks and all sorts of weirdness like that, but that, that I'm going to have to sit and have a good think about. Uh, and it's probably, <laughs> it's probably going to be one of those things that I work on off camera because as we have conclusively proved in two projects, I do not do, uh, live redstone all that well. <laughs> it's just, it, it yeah, no, I'm not there yet. G give me a little bit. We're we're still in season zero. I, I've only been at this a decade-ish. Uh, well, no, I've only been at the redstone part a couple of years. Um, and that brings me to the next part. So I need to let Arcadius know to set up his client to load up 1.8.3 for a bit of a blast to the past. And uh, in the meantime, I am going to park myself somewhere safe. I'm going to log off the server. I'm going to pop into 1.8.3 myself. 
because I've got a couple of worlds to pull up. This is going to be interesting. All right. Uh, disconnect. Be prepared for some black screens. I am going to do a little bit more switching because one of the things that I want to do uh, with this bit of live is I'm trying to get the clips together so that way I can put together episode one. I've been trying to record this thing so long and, and I just I keep forgetting. I keep putting it off and, and uh, excuses, excuses. Uh, so let's, let's, I'm going to try to record a little bit as we go too. So I may switch to the screen where it's just the game and, and not the camera and everything else. So it's just the game. And then, uh, I might, if I got something workable, splice all that stuff together into a video. So I'm going to go to single player. I did load up. Yes, I did. I, all right. Um, I am going to start with this one that. All right. Which one of these was I going to start with? There was three different worlds that I found <laughs> under uh, 1.8.3 that we were playing with. I want to say idle time was one of the earliest. You see. When. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, when we first got into Minecraft, we never actually set up a server. It was whoever got home from work would log, on, would start up Minecraft, and whatever world they happened to be working on, they'd open that up to the LAN, and we'd all play on that world. So we have two to three worlds going at any given point in time. And I've only got the ones that I had on my end. So this is going back a little ways. Um, uh, pay, pay no attention to those dates. Cause I, I'm pretty sure that, uh, 1229, 14 is not quite it. Uh, cause some of those other dates don't look right for when they would have been started or anything useful. So let me fire up idle time. <laughs> oh, this is going to be glorious. And let me open to land. <laughs> Turn cheats on. Let me go game mode creative. All right. Uh, mode. Um, yeah, this was one of the ones that I didn't open up prior to um, starting up the stream. I was poking around and starting up different different worlds and different things. And oh my, I don't, I don't know that we ever actually played this one that much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got some leather armor. I got a bunch of stone tools and. Yeah, yeah, okay. Th this might have been the start of the meme. Um, <laughs> I got let, let, let you get, Listen to this mode. All right, so this was the building that I logged into when I fired up the world idle time. Last run, uh, 1.8.3. We might have even upgraded it from an earlier version prior to that. And yeah, nothing but a bunch of stone tools, some cobble and dirt, and I don't know, we got some mushroom stew and a few other things floating around over here. Oh, yeah, that was before I started using pressure plates to make sure doors closed behind me. Uh, trying to figure out what... Oh. <laughs> oh, this might have been an earlier save. I think we got further on this world than what uh, what this one has. Because I seem to recall building deep down in there. Yeah, I think this is an earlier save, and we got another one, or I've probably got another one floating around somewhere. But, um... Hmm. All right. Um... Where are you, Arcadius? Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so 
Yeah. Um, well, that's where we get all the mossy cobblestone because the biome, <laughs> the way the biomes are generated, this particular area would often generate some uh, mossy cobble a as part of the feature. I don't know if it still does that anymore. It does? Okay, because I haven't run across one of these in forever. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, I don't. Uh, please excuse the beeping. So Somebody set off an alarm and we can't seem to get it to shut off. All right, that... Uh, no, maybe that wasn't us. Yeah, I I do. Yeah, cheats are enabled. Spectator, yeah. yeah helps if I spell spectator correctly too. <laughs> All right, yeah. Wow. Um. No, I got a I got a really good feeling that this was an earlier save, because, uh, like I said, this was this was when we uh, this was in the early days before we actually did servers and stuff, and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I got a strong feeling that uh, we had built this one out, and I just I grabbed the save off of an older computer. All right, we're going to stay in 1.8.3 for another one. Um, oh, I don't know. Here's a crafting bench. Where's that the mountain I was in earlier? That might have been the mountain I was in earlier. No, I don't know. Random crafting bench is random. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Those happened a lot. Okay, all right. Uh, let me get back to that view with the camera. Let me go save and quit. Eventually. Oh, don't crash on me. Come on. Minecraft didn't like that we were digging up the past. And that's just a shame. All right. If it doesn't finish saving and quitting to tile title, then uh, I might have to forcibly close it. The Java binary is not running. What would you like to do? I would like it to end. Make it end. <laughs> An unexpected issue caused the game to crash. You're playing a game from ages ago. Would you like to try this again? <laughs> All right, let's start back at 1.8.3 again. Because there is another one that I know we got uh, pretty, pretty far along. Um, and then we'll get into what I'm pretty sure was our first server. Like 98% sure, but let's do this other one first. Uh, obviously, more idle time came after idle time because I was creative in my world names. <coughs> and, uh, all right, let me open to LAN. Allow cheats, game mode, creative, start LAN world. This was one of the ones that I checked before we started the stream. And, uh, yeah, yeah, gotta, gotta, gotta love that style. A lot of polished granite, a lot of polished andersite. Um, we never had a good way to get the Enderman stuff turned off, so a lot of too high ceilings. Um, yes. Oh, why are you not, uh... Uh oh. Hang on, guys. Let me uh, go to intermission real quick.
Okay, I think we're back with that, and we might have the uh, beeping handled too. All right. Let me get back into record mode. <laughs> and let's take a look around this glorious blast from the past in 1.8.3 with my uh, lava roof. Very, very precariously placed. Right, right up there. Mm. <laughs> dirt. Lots and lots of dirt. All seven stacks of it. Sandstone, glass, gravel, more gravel, even more gravel. Well, ten stacks or so. <laughs> Cobblestone and related, sand and related, decorative stones. Oh yeah, look at all that. Non-specific woodcraft. What's that? Oh, that's right, because it wasn't tied to a particular type of uh, lumber. Yeah, you, you see some of my storage patterns have kind of stayed pretty close. Um, oh, we did have some potions. Where did we... I wonder, did we get them from somewhere? Or, because uh, I don't remember seeing a brewing stand anywhere. All right, we've got our other ores, minerals, and... Real Holy mother of gravel, Batman. Okay. <laughs> We got a little enchanting set up. Uh, I don't think... No. That's before I knew that there was a uh, certain number of bookshelves that you needed to have. Uh, yeah. What do you mean back when? <laughs> oh, hey, cobble generator. Uh, fun bit of trivia in just about every game except for the most except for season zero coffee craft I've made sure to put a cobble generator in for some reason probably because I went through like tons and tons and tons of cobble um, <laughs> a little me manual melon pumpkin farm big manual melon pumpkin farm lit with a creepy amount of jack-o-lanterns and something was clearly going on in here, but for the life of me, I could not tell you what. Because that was... A, see, that was part of what would happen, is we'd end up getting away from the world for a while, just because work and life and stuff. A and so we go, do you remember what you were doing? No, nah, I don't remember what I was doing. Ah, let's just start another one. And we'd fire up another world. And I have a tree under here for some reason. <laughs> oh lovely oh lovely oh yeah and now here's here's one thing that i'd like to actually get back to we were much better about uh signposts and our mind shafts and labeling you know that way to the house to the house um uh my stair style hasn't changed much, much to the displeasure of one particular server member. <coughs> Rest. Um, ah, there she is. Ready to take a peek around the old stomping grounds. Uh, yeah, we, we left some convoluted mine shafts down here, though. Yeah, yeah, I'm still kind of walking around, although I will note, we, I, I did have some actual enchanted gear, which is surprising, because I, I never got too big into that. Not early on, anyway. Uh, it wasn't until much, much later. Why am I worried about falling? I'm in creative mode. <laughs> to the house! Up that way. Yes, this would be one of the infamous staircases that um, somebody would be highly displeased at me for making because, you know, it'd be enough to get you up the side. But what else do you need? Oh, man. I, I think I do remember this one. 
<laughs> our two move back, our extra supplies. Yeah, we did a lot of exploring down this one. Uh, I do believe Arcadius was the only one who did a significant amount of overworld exploration. Uh, at, as is usually the case, but uh, even more so at this particular juncture. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, the house is that way. Uh, which this? Um, don't forget we are live. Yes. Um... Oh. Oh, there's where the entrance was. Okay, that's where that went. Uh, are you sure you don't have us muted? Is everything plugged in all the way? <laughs> oh, or... Well, you heard that? Oh. Yep. Chicken farm. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, I'm trying to, I don't think we had a, did we? Yeah, we didn't have observer. This was pre observers. <laughs> <laughs> comparators and repeaters and yeah do, do you see this long list of redstone components boys and girls if you were not playing back in 1.8.3 you have no idea just how small your redstone repertoire was <laughs> oh oh I forgot I forgot all right yeah. Yeah, I want to say this was a mob dropper that I'd put together. It's pretty close to the same, uh, the same style that, oh yeah, wait a second. Oh yeah, that's right. Mobs used to still be able to spawn with running water, so still push them down. Strange days, strange days. The torch spam is real. But there wasn't exactly an overabundance of lighting options either. Yeah, yeah, I was there earlier. Oh, look, our animal farm. And one of those pit. Yeah, that guy, that joker. He kept getting out all the time. He's still out now. And a couple of our chickens managed to glitch out into the rabbit end of things. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the weird lava diorite thing? Yeah. yeah, I don't remember. I just remember us ferrying bucket loads of lava. Each one of those holes is a bucket of lava. Reyes, do you remember what that was all about? <laughs> uh, whenever 1.8.3 was.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, and none of us had gotten into automatic farming at any <laughs> in any reasonable sense of the word. Yeah, th this was before we started doing individual bases. Cause we're... Yeah, oh, that lava moat. Oh, that was such a pain in the butt. My layered defenses. A fence, a moat, another fence, another moat. <laughs> oh, wow. I keep feeling like I'm missing something, though, because we have potions, and I've got a cauldron with half, half full or half empty of water, whichever way you want to look at it. I just, I can't seem to find the brewing station, and I know it was there, and I know I wasn't doing any hi hidden doors or anything like that because I wasn't doing any redstone at this particular point in time either. Um, yeah. All right, you ready for another trip down Nostalgia Lane, or you want to keep poking around here for a little bit more? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, keep uh, 1.8.3 up, because I got one more in that line. All right, so that was idle time. That was more idle time. I think... I think this was the first server that we did as an actual server. I'm not 100% sure though. Uh, open a LAN, allow cheats, game mode creative, start LAN world. <laughs> and holy mother of diorite, Batman. <laughs> yes, yes, this was the first one we had as a server because I had so much trouble trying to get it. So you, I, I started, th this started off as a much smaller hole in the mountain. And uh, I had trouble getting you guys to open the doors because I didn't realize that the whole protection thing was on and you couldn't uh, <laughs> you, you couldn't interact with people's uh, other people's creations. And what you're seeing over there, some of these generated structures, I use a program called MC Dungeon or as my youngest sister put it, McDungeon um, because she was asking <laughs> for some help and she didn't. Uh, quite get the MC was Minecraft. You remember this one? You remember this one? I, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, we, we, we've we got all our little dungeons over here that we explored and we looted. And one of the things about the dungeon generator, though, is a higher percentage of blocks were actually infested. So tons of this stuff would come up with those evil silverfish and the dungeons would be protected. Oh, I'm in creative mode now. <laughs> uh, these dungeons would be protected with uh, these bedrock borders. So you'd have to explore the dungeon the way it was intended to be explored, the way it generated in. So there would be rooms and mazes and puzzles and we spent a lot of time with that because part of it was we wanted to have more to explore. So we, we used a dungeon generator to add a bunch of dungeons. I, I'm actually have tempted to see if MC Dungeon has a, uh, has a mode for uh, 1.14 and all that. I wouldn't bother doing it now at this, partic at this point just because we're too far along and I wouldn't want it interfering with any of the other structures. But, uh, oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. A lot of this stuff is dug up. Uh, I'm lost in a dungeon. Let me... Uh, mode. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, look at that dungeon, guys. That's... we And we explored all that. And we'd go down into here and explore all that. That redstone was not us. That redstone was generated as a part of the dungeon itself. Because you'd have to play these really weird games like Find the Button and <laughs> to get into some of the spaces. And redstone traps would trigger here and there. 
there's little command blocks that would trigger. There used to be pressure plates all over this hallway that if you weren't really careful, you, you'd trigger some really nasty stuff. Um, yeah, we, we explored and looted and explored and looted all over this place. Oh yeah, in big rooms, there'd be a uh, wither skeleton or some sort of boss over here. And then we found out that there was a cave back here. And I want to say that cave actually led back to the main, the main base somewhere along the way, or maybe not. All right, let me get back to the surface and get my bearings. Holy mother of slime, Batman. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, so now I am over here by the little Pantheon, Parthenon, or something that Arcadius set up. Let me get back into creative mode, because I kind of like seeing the bodies walking around. Yeah, Arcadius, believe it or not, was our early redstone. <laughs> Speak friend and enter, or use lever. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we did almost no exploration of the nether. Oh, I forgot to walk into the nether on the last one, too. All right, yeah, no. You, you see that extensive building in the nether? Yep. <laughs> Because uh, none of us really did much in the way of nether explore. Well, other than Arcadius. Uh, <laughs> only one third of us did <laughs> much exploration in the nether. Uh, we used to cut a lot cleaner stairs, though. <laughs> I must say. Of course, we're still on an ancient version, so it, it's not like we had a whole lot of options. See, you kids today don't realize... No, kidding. I'm not going there. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, let me get back to the portal because there's obviously not that much to see over here because <laughs> we didn't do that much in here. Oh. Um... Somebody wanted a bunch of nether brick. So this was where we clear cut our nether rack to make nether brick. Yep. Oh, hey. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's, uh, oop. That's right, and the portals linked up really weirdly, and so we'd always end up at the wrong, wrong place. I don't even remember. Oh, oh, that's right. We left ourselves uh, breadcrumbs. <laughs> uh, yeah, this this looks like a place we were at. I don't remember. You always, yeah, you always had TNT on you, though. No, you, all right, you know what, back to uh, spectator mode. Because that, that'll let me jump all the way up. Okay, yeah. Uh, slash game mode spectator. Oh, yeah, and our little protected fishing dock. Yeah. That's right. And again, getting back to we all had we all use the same base for the longest time. So we all just kind of built and expanded and
uh, slash game mode creative. Where are you at? You are on the dock. <laughs> oh, that's right. You use chainmail all the time, too. Because it was a rare find. You couldn't. Tr uh, we never got into villager trading much. Just as normal, no armor. You got a diamond pick, though. Yep. We had our, our bank of beds and a foot locker. <laughs> yep. You you remember this one? Yeah. You remember now? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was half tempted. I was half wondering if we were going to see something. Uh, yeah, yeah. Look, look at that. Look at that mad furnace array right there. <laughs> what were these? Oh yeah, fuel. Buckets and buckets of lava. Oh my. And a stack of crafting benches for some reason. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that's when we finally got clued into the full level enchanting, although we didn't realize that torches interfered. <laughs> Oops. Holy mother enchanting, Batman. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. What else we got? Oh yeah, our sand, gravel, clay. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Th this was the style storage system that we used for forever. Just chests and chests of manually sorted stuff. <laughs> yeah, but we've gotten a little less uh, a chest for everything and everything in its chest. Or at least I have. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, stone slabs, flint. <laughs> Signs. Why are there what? Where yet? Oh, under my precious. <laughs> Gold, travel, iron, maps. Yep. And Arcadius would leave a cake under that sign. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yep that's where all the chickens would go <laughs> to because down here we had a <laughs> monster droppings all right i was a little I, all right so i still am like that uh i still don't remember why there was a random cookie in the monster dropper but uh yeah <laughs> Yeah, here's our brewing station, and that actually, er, yeah, that went outside. Where, where was that entrance? I actually use the water entrance more often than not. No, you know what? Yeah. It's amazing how things have changed. <laughs> yeah, and this this was the only clock that Arcadius could put together. And it was one of those funky clocks that you had to be really careful about timing the torch that you put it down and picked it up right away. Because you couldn't use a lever, you couldn't use a redstone torch. You, it, it had to be something that you pulsed an input in and then it just kind of kept kept that pulse going
Yep. And the chickens above would drop them in here. We'd let the chickens collect down there until the lag got unbearable. And then a uh, splash potion of harming would kill them all. We'd lag everybody out with uh, <laughs> with picking up all the XP. <laughs> Yeah, we we did some uh we did some pretty extensive caving down here too. Yeah, I know. That that was our that was the first redstone farm and I think Rayest put it together too. If I remember right. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. We went all up and down this valley. We found a co I know we've found a uh, another Yeah, there we go. There's one of the fortresses that we found over at the end of the valley. Cuz they would randomly generate in. You'd get some soul sand that way and uh we stripped the ever living out of this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. We we destroyed a lot of spawners. <laughs> Let, let's not mince words. We we destroyed a lot of spawners. Of course, we looted the snot out of a lot of this stuff. But these were all these were all structures that uh, MC Dungeon would generate in. So you'd get these table and chair setups and decorated rooms, and somewhere in here is a hidden button with a villager hiding behind the wall set up in a little trading emporium that was part that it was actually part of the dungeon setup um where was that guy i knew he was down here somewhere oh yeah and there was some command block magic to make uh little porticulluses porticulli because you couldn't really do that with uh, pistons and redstone at the time. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, let me go back to spectator and see if I can't find where that dude was hiding. There was some stuff. The one at the end of the, uh, of course, a few of them linked up too. the one at the end of the valley under the base. I distinctly remember a villager being around there somewhere. I just don't remember where. Because, I mean, we haven't touched this world in forever. Did we never actually find that box? No, we found that box. It is very clearly looted. Oh, uh, no. That was a hidden room that had some stuff. Uh, that was an abandoned hidden room with a little bit of uh, redstone magic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so there'd be little rooms like this all over the place, hidden in the dungeon. And uh, behind a couple of them, there would be villagers and... Uh, so you'd have a little trading guy just randomly somewhere in the middle of the dungeon. Yeah, and this links back to one of the ones that we had this away. Found it. I can never remember how that command works. Yep. Yep. Because that, that that was that was one of the dudes that would randomly generate in there. Um. Oh my! I forgot about. I am looking at all the amazing ways that this stuff was interconnected. Because we had. 
this room down here that Arcadius cleared out for some reason. And then down to Bedrock, and that's where he started clearing stuff out even more. That lean lit, led off to this tunnel that branched off to that tunnel that went over there and... Holy mother of cobblestone walls, Batman. I don't remember why the, why we had so many there. I'm 90, 96% sure there was a reason. Uh, okay, all right, all right. Back to the... Uh, oh, and we had a jungle temple right around the corner. We had dungeons and there was a jungle right there, a jungle temple. A couple of fires from the lava pits that were up near the surface. I think Arcadius was trying to take over this temple, though. Oh, nope. That was... That was somebody that we hope to invite to Season 1. Don't know if she'll accept the invitation or not. But she was going to take over that temple. Here, I'm clicking like I can wave the hand. Here I am waving at the camera like I had the camera up on the screen. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to this. And somewhere over here... Yeah, amongst these ruins, there used to be a box. Because one, one of the things that you could add to the MC Dungeon bit was a, a little questicle where it would la randomly drop boxes that would give you clues... So you pick up the, the book in one box and it would take you to, it would send you off to this place, which would send you off to that place, which would send you off to another place to finally get the treasure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, there'd be random treasure boxes like that upon the towers that would generate um, our ginormous manual farm that we used for most of the time we did this this was your bog standard mob spawner that i used all the time before i learned some better ways of doing things uh it's actually the way i still tend to start mob farms because it's dirt cheap you just build a box with four platforms and a little walkway eventually these guys will wander into the water and down the drop then for some reason I decided to encode, uh, encase it in lava. I, oh, light. That's right. That was before we had the beacon. And I wanted to make sure it was easy to find my way back. So, yeah, there was that monstrosity. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, what other, what other wondrous joys will we find down here? Oh yeah, that's right. We were working on that. That was one of the things we were working on is we were trying to get enough gold blocks to to build a beacon. <laughs> uh yeah, we we didn't have the only farm we had was the, the few that you've seen so far. Um we had all our manual animal farms over here. Animals kept glitching out of the stupid fences up here. Come on, through the hole. There we go. Oh yeah, that's right. We had a nice little protected walkway with a parkour jump to uh, uh, the outside. And to our manual tree farm and sugarcane farm. Whenever somebody was bored enough, we'd, or we needed lumber, <laughs> we'd go through. I made sure to meticulously space this out so that way everything had an appropriate amount of uh, space. We kept some of just about every tree type in there. We got our oak and dark oak, birch and jungle. I, th I think the only thing we didn't have in here was acacia. Or maybe we didn't keep a, a ready acacia tree up all the time. Yeah, I don't think we kept a regular acacia tree up all the time. 
And this was early enough that uh, we started getting worried that Arcadius was building away from everybody else. Well, you built it because you were the only one who built with brick at the time, too. You still are the only person who really does much with brick. And then we had a... We didn't even do a rail line out to our main exploration points either. Yeah, it was... <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. Slash game mode spectator. Why did we have this path going off this way? We obviously had a reason. It, uh, all lowercase should be fine. The room with all the armory stuff? Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. There was a... This was where one of our mine shafts... <laughs> the, yes, that is the high-tech way we marked off all our mine shafts, and that's why we had that other way. We were going to build a shorter, more direct walking path. And that shaft led back into this mine system, which led back into all that hot mess. All the way back to the base. Oh, L look at all that area we, we explored and torched and uh, literally torched. <laughs> Following lava pockets. And... It goes, <laughs> it goes, a, it goes a fair ways out. I don't even remember why we went that far out. I, I think it was to get away from the dungeons. It might have been to get away from the dungeons. Yet yeah, there's nothing there. Uh, I don't even think we actually hunted down a fortress because there are no wings. I don't think we ever went to the end. Not in this world. Oh, no, I know we didn't have any wings, but. Oh. Uh, let's go back to creative. Let's go check the creative inventory. Oh, yeah, there, there was no Elytra. <laughs> of course. There was an end. So there was an end, there just was no elytra. Oh yeah. And we played this one for a long time too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My apologies to Iskel. All this polished diorite. <laughs> And granite and oh this room yeah <laughs> swords gold swords not gold that's right because we kept getting all collecting all the golden swords because Arcadius would go into the nether and he was the only one who really did much in the nether
Wow. That's right. And that goes back there. And this goes back here. And the pig is running around. All right. Ready for the uh, next trip down Nostalgia Lane? Okay. Uh, this time you're going to have to exit out of Minecraft altogether and load up 1.11.2. And, uh, oh. 11.2 and I think we got two different worlds to pull up in this one one of them was one that I think we did before this, we started going to the servers and it, it just was one of those um, yeah No, I don't know why I have this random 1.10 world that wasn't a part of the servers, because that was definitely our first server. But, uh, open the land, allow cheats, game mode, creative, start land world. All right. This, yeah, the, I know this was 1.10. Or we started it in 1.10. We upgraded it to 1.11. But I don't think we ever ran it as a server server. Oh, yeah. There's the tree farm. I think this was to test and test out some of the stuff that had come out in 1.10. Oh yeah, he definitely has a base here, but I don't think you have a base here. Because this monstrosity is the one that I had put together. Uh, it is an example of me not building in the side of a mountain. <laughs> for a change. No, I, I did build more houses before. Only more recently that I've gone to just, you know, building in the side of a mountain. Oh yeah, here's where we started our caving. A little off-site dig. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I was originally going to try to build into the side of the mountain. I was going to do that here because there, there was a little bit of a floor there, and every time I tried to sleep, I couldn't because there were monsters nearby. Why were there monsters nearby? Because that big honking hole was right below where I decided to build my base, and that's when I just decided to make that a cave and uh, build over here. Still doing the... Uh, cobble fortifications trying to make sure that it was well lit and spider proof and nothing was going to come in over the edge here oh that cactus wall took me forever just to get enough cactus to build it that was part of the problem <laughs> well if you got the redstone to make that happen yeah yeah, there doesn't seem to be much uh, much to go on on this one. Yeah, there's a little bit of caving. There, There's a little bit of storage. It's what makes me think that this was just for testing. Because um, the next one was one that we definitely played a lot. Oh, yeah. I. Um, this is actually the second time I built the house. I originally had an open pit fireplace here in the middle. And, um, well open fireplace and a wooden structure one plus one equals rebuilding uh. <laughs> oh man and i was trying to do i was trying to light everything up without running torches everywhere so i have all these floating pumpkins very carefully spaced all right 
Yeah, let's, uh... Oh. Uh, the, the, the furnaces are still running? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my. Oh my. No, literally somebody left the oven on. Oh yeah, we got tons of raw beef in here, chicken, about 40 iron ore, uh, and another eight gold. <laughs> uh, <yeah>, incinerator. <laughs> I forgot I... Yeah, there's my cobble generator. Always one there. That's right. I was putting all the different stations and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was funny. Yep, yep. All the spirals. Doesn't make for good streaming, though. All right. Uh, round and round we go. You know what? No, we're not. Oh, uh. Not yet. I, I completely forgot about this section over here. For Which it looks like we got down to bedrock and ran into some lava pools, and that was about it. We didn't do much else. All right, Arcadius, let's, uh, yeah, let me park myself somewhere where I'm not going to die the next time I log in. Although I don't think I'm going to log back into this world ever again, but <laughs> I got, I still got the backup somewhere. All right. Single player. Now we're only going to spend a minute here because I actually found the initial start of our second server. And then we're going to need to switch over to 1.12 to see the end. Okay. So let me, uh, let me get this going. Let me open to land, allow cheats, creative, start land world. So we're not going to poke around here because all this is, is the initial box. Remember, all right, so so tell me if you remember this starting point. All right, I'm going to fly around a little bit. I'm going to I'm going to let everybody take a good look at the terrain, that desert over there, that mountain over there, those hills over there, and the general layout of the terrain, the nice rise and fall of the hills. All right. Hey, hang on, hang on. No, no spoilers. No, no spoilers. We're doing a before and after. We're doing a, we're doing a before and after. <laughs> all right. So, so get a good, get a good look at the terrain. All right. All right. The desert hills, the cows, the little valley. Yep. All right. All right. Log out and get ready to hop into 1.12.2. All right, now we're now we're gonna we're gonna switch this guy over to one dot twelve dot two. I wish you guys had a camera for this. <laughs> Come on, Minecraft. Oh, Java's being Java. No, Java, not Java. <laughs> All right, let me fire up one dot twelve dot two. Now, this is the server that we were running right up until 1.13 released. When 1.13 released, we started the Coffee Craft Season Zero server. So this is the one that we were doing right up until 1.13. All right, 1.12.2, loading world. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Bam! <laughs> This is me in the same world spawn starting point. <laughs> All right, let me let me open this to land. Allow cheats, game mode, creative, start land world. <laughs> oh, I forgot we, we got our real names all over this place. All right. So that is the starting point. 
that that that's my look. Th this is when they started saying calling me a dwarf. Okay, that, that's my little fortress in the mountain. It, it was originally supposed to be just a door and this grand castle hidden in the mountain. Yes, the original coffee cup. Arcadius and I put that together. <laughs> Um, you'll you notice the the terrain got flattened out a little bit. Arcadius built some portals above his desert temple, <laughs> and they are actual lit nether portals. It took forever to get those things to work without linking up to the portal under his base. Oh, that took forever! But you can actually travel between the two of them through the nether. Yes, yes. If, if it. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, is this what I think it was? Uh, Arcadius's redstone did include some fireworks. Oh, yep, yeah, they're still loaded. <laughs> Monster Dropper. Gold tips welcome. Stuffs, please take it now. Oh yeah! <laughs> when I pranked Arcadius's base with a giant chicken, because <laughs> uh, somebody was mad at. So, well, okay, somebody would happen to come in here with an inventory full of eggs and spam the whole thing. <clears throat> <laughs> I forgot to put it back into record. Okay, there we go. The what? Oh, yeah. Ooh, down we go. The monster dropper. And Arcadius built the monster dropper this time. Yeah, I'm getting there. And, oh, yeah, our mines and caves now. In this world, this was when you could still do custom builds and you could twist all sorts of knobs and dials and things. And uh, so I cranked everything up to 11. We had so many resources. <laughs> At least I have chicken. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. This is the potion brewing station that Arcadius built. That, uh, yeah. Cluck cluck means kill me, I swear. <laughs> yep, playing with some hidden doors. There may have been a small and ever-growing number of chickens in there. <laughs> His usual chicken XP farm operated the same way. A every time we come in, we just brew a potion of uh, kill them all and just drop it in, let the XP flow. <laughs> But it was actually kind of nice because you'd get uh, fresh bottles in all the time. You'd hit the lever on the ingredients you want and then push the button and it would send all the ingredients in. And, and most of the time in order because of the order of everything in here. Um, it was actually it was pretty, pretty well put together. Uh, in retrospect, it would have been nice to have put item frames on the back of these, so that way you'd know what one was which. We, we just kept uh, clicking and going, is that the one I want? No. Is that the one I want? No. Is that the one I want? No. Because um, none of us could remember which one was in what. <laughs> Totoro's Rod. Furnace Array. Now, this is all in Arcadius's base because this was the first time that we all built separate bases. So this big temple was Arcadius clear-cutting the desert to make all that sandstone. And you don't want to know how many magma cubes we had to put together. Um, his portal there was here for most of the season. But uh, I forget why we moved it. We'll, we'll get to the nether in a bit. And down here. 
We had our little rail station. We didn't actually have an on-off. You had to remember to carry a rail in you, in your inventory. But uh, that would take you up this way. We used a lot of activator rails to power the redstone in places. And this was an area that we had actually papered over and turned in to level out the ground above and turned into a mine shaft. So there was all sorts of mining going on down that a ways. And then this would take you inside Rayest's coffee cup, <laughs> which we put brown glass in. And yeah, because Rayest was bemoaning that she didn't have a base. She built three or four different ones and <laughs> and then tore them down each time. So she'd build it, tear it, tear it down, build it, tear it down, build it, tear it down. And it was usually over that way. That's why you got that glass walkway to nothing. Because that used to be a glass walkway to several different versions. Yeah. Yep. 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 It was one of Tango's designs, if I remember right. And we never quite got that... No, I haven't gotten there yet. I'm getting there. No, I didn't do the village. I was going to do that after the base. Oh, yeah, we had that desert temple around the corner. And uh, Arcadius was going to build a tavern over here. This was before we were playing with Fire Tick off. Yep. That fireplace happened. <laughs> uh, somebody didn't realize just the different ways that fire spreads. And and, and I, I do believe that's the last time he has tried to build that kind of house. Yeah. Even, even on the new server where we have fire tick turned off, where it will not burn your build. Uh, he's not building another one of those. Uh. There we go. Which in here? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the that red nether brick was no fun to collect. Yeah, it was all going to be, you put everything in that large chest, you hit the lever, and it just cycled around the whole thing until it all found its place. Anything that didn't have a place ended up over there. Yeah, it was a tango thing. That's right, we did do some, oh yeah, this is the one with the rail. Oh, <laughs> yep, okay, so we, we've been playing around, around and around this long enough. Let's go through my little dwarven fortress of doom. Um... <laughs> It started with that door there in what was the original hillside that you remember from the top of us load again. And it kind of grew from there. Uh, <laughs> this got walled in and the walls got progressively bigger. I was starting to build some guards and armories and a little walkway. We had all of our uh, lanterns set to run at night. And I was going to build a big old fireplace. I was actually uh, going to try to build one of the hidden fireplaces that I saw in a mumbo jumbo video. And I never quite got around to that part. Because so I'd kind of come up with the location of the fireplace, but I wasn't sure if I really wanted to dig all that out. Uh, this was some of the groundwork that I, or one of the caves that I had walled over to make uh <laughs> To make the floor level far enough out because I'd started digging and yeah it wasn't quite big enough 
so I made it bigger. <laughs> this was my little enchanting room. This is when we'd finally gotten a hold of max level enchanting. And I had a little automated trash system similar to the one that I had before, or that I have on the current server, except this one. <laughs> All right, so this is the ground floor with my meager sleeping quarters and somewhere over, yeah, there it is. There's the lava pit that everything would eventually get spat to. Um, so we got that trash box on that door there. We got random tools and weapons and resources galore. This was all mined. There was no iron farm. We had that much iron because I played with the world generation controls and cranked everything to 11. And uh, yeah, so we had an overabundance of stuff. And I'd started playing with AFK fishing. So this hopper line actually goes out to the fish farm at the top. And I was going to fuel the two furnaces with the waste bows and things. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm going through the inside. Uh, this second floor. Here's all my storage. I made a nice little balcony. So, you know, I was trying my hand at a little bit of decoration. Storage and storage and storage. Just miles of boxes. And this trash dispenser would drop down to a hopper in the dispenser on the first floor. So that way I could have the one redstone system to drop from floor to floor to floor down into the lava. So I could put everything in there and it would drop through. Uh, here, let me actually uh, grab some seeds. And then that would cycle out and go. I had my little bread maker. Uh, this design no longer works, but it was really nice at the time. You'd fill all that up with bone meal, flick the switch. And that, that dirt is actually supposed to cycle down and up. But I forget what change that broke that. I had my little chicken cooker. This is a different version than the one I've got on the current server, but it's the same basic idea. You got the chickens laying eggs into the dispenser, and when they get old enough, they'll hit the lava and die. Um... This is an earlier version of the sugarcane farm. So same basic idea, observers pushing pistons, pushing the sugarcane into here. The cart was supposed to pick up the stuff that landed on the dirt. And I actually had that feeding into the box in the storage area over on the other side, just, just like I do this, this season. And I thought I had some other farms back here too. Oh yeah, I had an egg farm. Because for some reason I thought I was going to run low on eggs. Don't don't ask. Um, so there's some chickens in there and some water just pushing it forward. Because I don't know. I had a melon pumpkin farm going. It was a really weird tileable design. The idea was to eventually uh, push that further out. But as it is I've only got one, one stem of each. And I think this was my maintenance hatchway for... Uh, yeah. This is my maintenance hatchway for the chicken cooker. So, some more, you can see where I'm starting to get into the redstone here and starting to build stuff and find stuff. And we had a little walkway out here on the second floor that would take you to the, the docks that would take you over to where Reyes place was before she tore it down for the 82nd time. Um, if anybody felt like doing real uh, regular fishing, they could, but, uh, <laughs> all right. So, you know, I also made sure that there were stairs that you could go up and down, whether you're on the inside or the outside. So there's a stairwell on every floor. All right. Third floor was more storage, <laughs> lots of storage, same basic trash bin. And yeah, I was had a little vine growing room. I was originally going to do something else here. I think that's where I had my cobble generator that I was going to move somewhere else. No, the cobble generator was, was that back down on this floor? No, I don't know. I had a cobblestone generator in here like I did most seasons, but I, or maybe I did tear it down to make room for the vine. Yeah. Yeah. This was where it was. Yep. There it is. 
Just playing with different designs, trying to fit stuff into the same space. All right, and up we go. Yep, more stairs up and down. Top floor was where I had my little sheep pen, and this was where I did some animal farms that should look familiar. Because this is the same basic pig cooker that I've got in the Season Zero base now, this is, and for the cows and the sheep. Only this season, I went through the effort of doing the rabbit version, which is a little bit harder. And you have no idea how frustrating it was to get several rabbits into that top hole there. <laughs> oh, that was so frustrating. Yep, so you'd hit the button, it'd push the rabbits up a little bit. You had to leave a little more space because those jokers could jump. <laughs> you'd feed them, the little babies would drop down to the bottom. You had to leave that trapdoor up, otherwise they would escape. When they were adults, you could open the trapdoor and kill them for their feet. Uh, and that was where I got all my wool. Every time I needed a color, I'd just run around, dye all the sheep, shear them, and go. I had started working with a, uh, a farm here for the uh, cocoa beans. They pushed a button down this way. It would dispense water, knocking all the cocoa beans down to the end. Replant my first little cactus farm. It wasn't the most productive, but you know what? It didn't have to be. And yeah, there's hoppers under all those. I just didn't like looking at the hoppers. And my first little AFK fish farm. This design technically works still in 1.14. It worked in 1.13, but because of lag, I have yet to see it work well on a server. And I kept trying to figure out ways to add more boxes without interrupting stuff in the building below. Because um, I I'd frequently run into the problem of where I'd, <laughs> uh, I'd come back from an AFK session and there'd be stuff sitting on top of the hopper. But... Um, yeah, so you'd sit here with your pole. Uh, the water is missing. The water would actually sit on top of that hopper there. And you'd right-click with the pole, and you'd end up turning the, uh, turning the item frame. And that would help trigger the, the rod. I'm, I'm making hand motions. I don't have the camera up so you can see the full screen. And this hopper chain here... <laughs> is where I'd put all the rods and bows and burnable things into this ungodly monstrosity. I mean, seriously, I really should have just done a dropper and then another row across, but for some reason I thought I was going to need all the buffering space. Don't don't ask me why. I don't know. And that wraps around and that goes into the furnace there. Uh <laughs> Yeah, and my intention was always to come come back and cover it or to do something a little different, but I never quite got around to that part. I did also have a little glass elevator over here set up, so that way I could get, when I got wheat and carrots from over here, I could send it back up. And this was where I started getting into item filtering. So the elevator would come up. Uh, game. Game mode. Or, okay. So, yeah, stuff would come up here. He put a bunch of chicken in that, you know, and his flow down here. And if it was, which one was this? Okay, so if it was wheat, uh, trying to figure out. Oh. If it was wheat, it would get picked up in that hopper, fed into that dropper elevator, and put into the box by the sheep. And then if it was anything else, it would end up this way. And so it would end up over here by the pigs, because the only thing that was supposed to be going up were the uh, wheat and carrots. But some fool sent up a bunch of chicken. This was a beautiful semi-automated farm that um, I think it was K1 Gaming did a video on. I'm pretty sure it was K1 Gaming. 
Um, don't, but the idea was that you, you know, you hit the lever and it would depower some pistons way back here, which would get the water flowing. And then all the stuff would get pushed down. And this was one of those things that you kind of, you, you let it run and then, and then walk away for a little bit because I, I built a few too many floors. And so it took a while to push everything down. Like there, yeah, now, now or another, we're starting. Yeah, and that was the other thing. Uh, it would take forever because I got a row of hoppers over there, but all the hoppers are going into these two here. And the rate of hoppers is kind of slow. So yeah, all the, all that stuff's gonna finally start flow again. The pressure plates here were so the way the water didn't flow out. I left the sign so I'd know what was <laughs> what to replant where. Um, there was no actual pro it didn't matter what you planted where. That was just how I happened to have it laid out. And then you'd gather up enough to replant and uh, climb back up and replant layer by layer. It was surprisingly quick. Now the replanting didn't take too long, but again, it was still work and more work than I wanted to do. But uh, that produced tons of carrots and potatoes. Cause think about that. We just did a full harvest on that. And I'm sure, yeah, that's, that's still filtering in. And we've already got a couple of stacks of everything. Uh, <laughs> This is the football field that Arcadius put together for rest. Beautifully lined. I went back and put in the carpets though, uh, which is why all the sheep are green because we wanted to put some, yeah, no, that part I did. Cause yeah, there there's lanterns under here somewhere. So that way we could uh, actually have it lit without torches across the field. And this is the village that Reyest built, where she was playing with the villager breeding mechanics, and she found out that doors, you know, made a village big. Um, this is the village that Reyest scaled back because we had more villagers than we knew what to do with. Uh, this was long before beds actually mattered, so there's like a bed around here somewhere, and it's just a bunch of shells with lots and lots of doors. Um... The idea was to orig was to eventually go back and build like a little, an actual town and put each of those guys into a house or a stall or something because, uh, yeah, that was tough. It was tough to find the person, the one person you were looking for. Which brown coat do I need? Here's the sugar farm that Arcadius put before I built my automatic one over there. And the pink geek, when she came to visit, kind of worked on this deal over here. That would be our youngest sister. And she, she is clearly the builder of the, I mean, look at this. That was her little chicken farm. And there might be a little more, a few more chickens there than what she originally put in there. I, I don't know how they got there. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know. Yeah, Mary Minecrafting. She wanted some saddles, so we gave her all the saddles that we fished out of, uh, <laughs> out of it, out, out of the AFK fish farm. Her little farm. Oh, we had done something over here to, to prank her a little bit too. We left her the shulker box by way of apology. Yes, yeah. There there was there was a dispenser somewhere that randomly dropped out eggs. Oh yeah, all the good fun. And that was a portal that had come back here for some reason. Uh let me go grab a minecart though. because we got another trip to take.
That's right. She was playing with the glazed terracotta because the glazed terracotta had finally come out. And I got mad because I had finally figured out what hardened clay was. And now there's all this terracotta stuff. And seriously, what with the stop changing names. <laughs> Where? Down the, uh, oh yeah, left. Um, we didn't know how to build switching stations, so we've got trap chests over these, and when you'd open the trap chest, I don't know if you can tell just under the inventory screen, look under there, you'll see it move. The trap chest would cause the rail to switch. So, let's get this going until we hit a powered rail, and this was a pro this, this was a labor of love. Um, Arcadius and I, and occasionally Reyes would come out here. We <laughs> dig and tunnel and build bridges and add rail. Lots and lots and lots of rail. Yep. Still traveling down the rail. <laughs> yeah. we, we built little stopping points like this where we'd come off. Uh, you could hit the box and end up on one of the docks over there because there were some things over that way we were looking at. Like there's a cave I was exploring. Um, I think I even started to build a farm or something. Oops, uh, farm or something over there. And every now and again, I'd build a way station because it was getting so hard to travel back and forth from where we were working to... Where where we needed to go, I would just start building way stations like this guy over here on our left. So the rail is set. The way out is one that you could actually just uh, hop in a minecart and go make a sandwich or something. So I'll stop by all the way stations on the way back because it's set to go to the closest way station on the way back. Yep. Oh, and we're still traveling down the rail. <laughs> There's a few doors there. I left lots of windows in so we could see the terrain. And there was a few spots that we came out and explored a little bit more. It's where we got a lot of our trees and saplings from. I never did build a tree farm in this one either. Um, I used that empty space on the top of my castle to just plant down a tree and chop it and manually harvest that way. Um, yeah, we left a couple of exits like that that go out into the world because um, there were times that there was things off of there that we needed to mine out. Um, while digging this tunnel, I'd find a vein of resources or another cave system, and I left access points to go caving later on. This was when we got smart and started using activator rails to power it instead of trying to bury torches and stuff. Yep. We're still traveling. There's the forest. That was a fun. <laughs> that was a fun one to dig out too, because uh, lots of stuff kept dropping in. I think there's some skeletal horses over here that created a bit of havoc. And I want to say there was a bug that, for some reason, we couldn't tame and ride them like you should have been able to. Yep, there's another way station we had set up. Yes. I, I don't, I don't even remember. I don't want to, I, I, maybe I blotted it out of my memory. Uh, <laughs> now this rail goes all the way. Yeah. See, see that little jack-o'-lantern guy through the window. Uh, you might've missed it. You pause it and rewind if you're watching on the playback, but those were the wayposts that Arcadius and I set up when we walked over here first looking for the fortress so we could go to the end. And uh, we left a bunch of those scattered, and this was the, the most direct route we could manage along that path because we we meandered a lot back and forth to, to find that place. And so we had way, way markers all over the place. All right, this, that's the Gravel Mountain, so this should be at or near the end. Yeah, this is at the end. There we go. <laughs> And we left it. Yeah. We never did actually connect up that portal in the beginning. That's when we were first learning how to find our way in the nether and that sort of thing. So we never did quite make our way back to uh, back to uh, the main base through the nether. 
But we had we had some caving going on. Digging out for resources and more resources. And then down this way, we had our fortress. We had actually found the fortress um, from up top. So we punched a hole through the roof. There we go. We punched a hole through the roof. And this place was... Yeah, it was a bit of a maze. So we started leaving signs to the end. To the end. To the end. Wrong way if you're going to the... Oh, I forgot I did that. <laughs> Wrong way if you're going to the end. To the end. Down, then right. Mind the lava. <laughs> oh. Upstairs to the end. Yeah, there was still a lot of fortress down here to dig out and figure out. This is the library we looted for our uh, bookshelves. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we left a lot of places looted and desolated and empty husks. Right up, right. Assuming you're headed to the end. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're not lost yet. <laughs> Down to the end. Yeah. Up the stairs and into the inky blackness to the end. <laughs> yep, right here. <laughs> oh, man. And that's right. This was before I realized how a lot, how a lot of the uh, spawning mechanics work. So I tried to get a coarse root farm in here a few times. And there's Arcadius's quote, ender farm, unquote. A little platform and just kind of poke at him with a, something pointy. Did we really only kill the ender dragon the one time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we only did it the one time. And then we used that portal to go... To go with traveling. We didn't actually build anything out this way. We were. Uh, no, we've mostly been elytra hunting and all that stuff. But I think you were the only one that actually had and used an elytra. Yeah. 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 <laughs> all right. All right. Oh, yep, that's right. Rayest's coffee cup is in the world spawn, not where I was before. So Rayest's coffee cup is in the world spawn. There is my dwarven fortress of doom. Um, oh, because I took that way back, I can't show you all the... Yeah, basically we built little way stations. Nothing too, nothing too spectacular. Bed, some storage. There's tons of random items over there. Um, this is where we started working on a nether hub though. So we actually started building nether portals and linking them together in a semi-protected space. There we go. Nope. <laughs> Built all this out of nether brick that was smelted out of digging it out. That's right, because you two were working on a path. You were doing the, the aquatic, um, the, the ocean temple and trying to clear that joker out. I don't remember if you guys ever cleared that or not. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. This was when Arcadius and I finally figured out how to break Endstone. And we had gone all the way up here and punched a hole. And then put a portal. I don't think we ever actually did anything up here, which is funny because Coffee Craft Season Zero, we've been intending to punch a hole so we can build a gold farm up here. But we just never get around to punching a hole in it. So this <laughs> this season, we got around to punching a hole in it. We just never bothered to do anything with that. But that was our, our meager, meager nether hub. A whole two portals. 
All right. Via the fortress or the uh, complicated? <laughs> Up this way, down that way, around something else, or... Uh... Oh. All right. That's yes, right. Slabs and slabs and slabs some more. Oh, yeah, that fortress. Okay. Yeah, that's... Okay. With uh, our stairwell access. <laughs> Come on, keep running. That's right. We were going to put a rail through here or something. And we just never got that far. Although I don't remember why it was on a diagonal. Or was that just to cut down the travel time? That's right, because we, were, we weren't afraid to do a lot of walking at that point in time. Oh, yeah, we had our nether access. and All right, let's head back into the overworld, and oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. You were going to build your walkway over to your glass staircase. Oh, that's oh yeah, because this is part of why we decimated all all the sand near Arcadi Arcadius's base. And I don't think this thing was completely cleared out. No, you can see the water dripping. Yeah. Oh yeah, there there they are. Oh, ain't she a beauty? Oh, there was some rooftop access, though. Was, yeah. Working up and down and in and out. And, oh, yeah, but there, there's still a few spots that, that aren't clear. Yes. Yeah, because this was out in the middle of nowhere. I remember you guys spending days hunting this. Uh, oh, oh yeah. And there, <laughs> you see, back in my day, there were no data packs. <laughs> and, and so to do single player sleep, because we did have single player sleep on here. This is the first time we had that too. Uh, to do single player sleep, there was some command block shenanigans that I put together based off of somebody's video tutorial. I don't remember whose though. It's going to let me go through. Not in spectator mode. All right, let me head back to back to spawn. Nowadays, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And this was Arcadius's adventure in building a world map and <laughs> Jeez. I forgot how big that was. Yeah, underneath the 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 visitor center here somewhere. Uh there it is. I encased it in bedrock so we didn't accidentally do anything with it. Um, are some command blocks. And yeah, it would do it would do some some really funky stuff to to make single player sleep happen. It was the first time that we had that joy because it was usually <laughs> it was usually uh, something along the lines of hey I need somebody to sleep okay alright I'm in bed I'm in bed oh I didn't bring a bed with me <clears throat> Arcadius Uh, 
Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm in the Nether was one of the big ones. But yeah, uh, we did our large scale lighting project. Uh, you can see where we were spacing it out, and then we had rearranged some things because we retrained a lot. Um, oh yeah, and I don't think I went down here yet either, because this was our main mine shaft. Yeah, all the mines were interconnected. We had a rail line in between all the houses. We we still had a lot of stuff fairly well interconnected, and holy mother of creepers, Batman. Good thing I'm in creative. Yeah. And there was some way that this linked up to the the under Arcadius's base and it linked up to under my base and all over the place. Yeah. Because you can see the tunnels down there. You can see all the torchlit areas that we explored all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, that's the world spawn is where the coffee cup is. And where was it? Yeah, under here. <laughs> so like I said, we had the rail system, so I could go grab a minecart, head down that rail to, to Rest or Arcadius's, and that rail would take me down to the Pink Geek's place and further on down the rail that we just traveled that I'm not going down again. Because um, I, do, I do remember more than a few times starting down that rail. <laughs> To go to the end and ending up, uh, yeah, like making a sandwich or something while I waited. So this was the server that we worked on for quite some time. And we started it in 1.11. We upgraded to 1.12 and threw all the point releases on 1.12. And then when 1.13 came out, that was when we decided to do uh, Coffee Craft Season Zero. And I didn't have it ready in time. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I think I do. I think I do. Uh, let's log out and get into 1.13. And let me see if... Uh, I'm 90% sure that I've got that one ready to go as well. No, th this was the, this was the, there was one before this one that we had already, that we had already gone through. This was our second server. And we had it running on the media center PC in the living room. And, uh, oh, and Minecraft is going to crash on me again. That's fine. I'm okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just 1.13. Hang on. Sometimes I hate you, Minecraft. Yeah, one of the big problems with the single player sleep, the way that we had it at that time, um, <laughs> What was that it polluted the uh, logs with a message every time it cycled to check for somebody sleeping. So all my server log log file was huge. It was part of what caused all sorts of fun when trying to back it up. And uh, sorry, th this is not wanting to cooperate. I can't even get the uh, task manager up. So, does this take you guys back? <laughs> yes. Okay. 
Come on. I know it's not responding. That's why I pulled up the task manager. But I can't even get it up in front of Java. There we go. Oh, because Steam decided to randomly... Oh, I hate you, Steam. All right. Uh, I need to go to installations. I need to go to... New. Tour four. I need to find... One dot thirteen. There's all the snapshots and snapshots and not one dot thirteen dot two, not one dot thirteen dot one. One dot thirteen release. All right. And get this running. Yeah, I'm 98% sure that I got the 1.13 initial. And this would be the season zero, like the first time we opened it up. If not, I, I'm pretty sure I know where it, single player. Our logo, creative testing, idle time, more idle time, first server testing, second server. Oh, again. Let me close that out. Let me minimize that for later. Let me go to... Sorry, I didn't have that one in the world saves, but I know where it is. Games. Minecraft. Saves. And Minecraft 1.13. I hear Jeva rocking his uh, food dish. Poor puppy. He acts like he's so starved. <laughs> All right. Single player. 1.13 testing. Oh no, this was still this was still far enough that uh some stuff had been built. I am, I am. Creative start land. Yep. The this was this was I I had built <laughs> I was starting to build my little hut over there I had my little manual farms over here and there were a couple of pumpkins that were right here at world spawn so I'd started those and I had uh, there we go some chickens under there and I was living off of pumpkin pie because there were pumpkins and there were chickens and there were sugarcane all right there at world spawn oh look at that swamp that's where the <laughs> That is where the rail station would become. That mountain would be no more. <laughs> get a uh, get a good look. Get a good look.
Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. See, there was a little bit more river on our river over there, and uh, yep. One temple's over there. No, no, because remember, I had just run it a couple of days to make sure that the server was stable. You, you guys hadn't been on yet. I had literally like loaded it up as a private test, ran a little, did a couple of things. That that was maybe about a you know. Not that long, not that far. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. So th this is this is the island that Arcadius's little uh, seaside shack is on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The underwater boat? <laughs> yeah, but no. So th this was very early on. Th this was when I was first getting the server stuff squared away. We were still running on a local server, too. And uh, one dot. I know. Because you... You know, you saw you saw how close together we were on the last server, and uh, yep, there's there's the AFK Fisher that uh, Arcadius used out the gate. I really tried to hold off on that, but I I gave in later too. So don't 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 think I'm not a. All right. Yep. Oh yeah, so so I mean, this is the forest between Arcadius's place, and that's the way my mountain originally looked. So uh, <laughs> contemplate that one because that's where the stairs go up right there. Because remember, they start over here, ish. There's a path that goes through all that farmland now. Um, what did I have built over here? I didn't have much of anything built over here. Yep, nope. There's the natural layout of the cave. Naturally, all the uh, coal was scooped up early on. And even that, I was starting to clear this out a little bit to get it on the same level. This goes nowhere fast. I don't have the mob dropper or anything like that going yet because I just started building that shack. Oh, look at that. There's my lake. <laughs> yep. There's my lake in all its glory. Yep. That's where the waterfall will be. That's where the rail will be. Um, this I did some cleanup on too. That, that overhang got gone partly because I needed the stone, partly because I didn't like the overhang. And partly so I could fill that massive hole in. Yeah, the ice farm's going to eventually be over there on top of that hill. There's going to be some planes going around here somewhere too. But yeah, th so this was this was right as we were starting up the uh, season season zero server. Um, Arcadius and I had only been on here a couple of weeks. I thought I had one that was the original original, like before we had done anything. But apparently not. I think this was when... It, oh, yeah. No, no, no. Th this was the save when I was getting ready to move it from local to the server. And take the old server down. That's what it was. That That's why I've got this back up here. So this is after a couple of weeks of local testing. And getting ready to move it over to the server. So... I think so. Uh, I don't know, because we, we would have had more torches. We had a lot of caves around here. We, we papered over a lot of caves. <laughs> yes. Yep, yep. 
So we flattened out this area. All right, so you, you guys see the terrain now, right? Just remember, this is where Reyes Base is. See that bend in the river? That's the part that it, the that arches the river. Okay. There's the terrain. There's my castle. Now, let's go back to the uh, the live server as it currently sits. All right, and save and quit. Quit the game so we can start it back up. Yep, 14.4. Optifine, yeah, Optifine 14.4. I haven't installed it in Reyes computer yet. Um, probably will do that today after the stream. Say that again? Yes, to install that on your computer. It'll help with the graphics performance and a few other things. All right, on to the main server now. <laughs> so, after that terrain that you saw, I forgot to switch the camera over. All right, I'm just going to stitch all that together and it, it'll be the hot mess that it is. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. I can't do the creative. Well, I can, but I'm not going to do that to them. So there's the river. There was some of the river. We, we, we carpeted over that. Yeah, we backfilled a lot. All right, can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Oh, I was hoping to make it to the next leaf up, but okay. So, yeah. <laughs> There's the pathway. They, that, that path is where my farms were. Um, the hill had originally come down there, and now I built that out there to make room for the stairs, to make room for the castle and the retaining wall. Um, the mountain got pushed out a little bit to make room for the mob farm. I tried to build it inside the mountain. I really did. I did. I thought I'd left myself enough room. I just mismeasured. And there's Arcadius's little corner right now. And we thought we had built so far away and now it feels so close. Like, cause that, that this was further than we'd ever built before. We were actually building separate bases because uh, the last server was the first time we'd done that. So we figured we had it down this time. We were not going to feel, you know, cooped in by our neighbors. Um, all right. So we know better for next time. <laughs> I don't know that you want to go that far early on, you know, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we should be able to find one in here too. But uh, we definitely have some things to talk about because we're getting to the point where we need to figure out when we're going to call season zero an end. So there'll be a little staff meeting about that and a few other things as we go. And uh, stay tuned for more on that. But yeah, so... <laughs> this is the terrain as it sits now. Um, post mortal. Uh oh. Actually, I do. Oh. <laughs> that lake. That that is. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's the best bit of terraforming I've done. The top of my base? Oh, oh, are, are we getting into the height thing? Because, uh huh. Okay.
All right. I am at Y129.5. Okay. Don't worry. I'll work on that. <laughs> I think they're lower than my castle anyway. <laughs> Yeah. No. All right. So that is a. Uh... <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, that's where we're sitting now. What a long, strange trip it's been. Oh, yep, and. I don't think we ever showed it on stream. Arcadius built this fun little treasure chest down here by his initial starter base. Surprised he still has that diamond block there. Uh, <laughs> Arcadius's hut. Hut, hut. Yeah, that's where he kept his AFK Fisher. After he got it off the island, he got kind of tired of getting beat up by mobs every time he'd go to AFK fish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you still got a lot of cod in here. Good cod. Yeah, so so now you see just how much we flattened that terrain. That was uh that was something else. Yes. There's a lot of there was a lot of digging. There was even some dynamite. the one time Reyes was okay with dynamite yeah we didn't load up that world because I think it was on either Arcadius or Reyes computer but uh yeah you've heard the story a bunch of times if you haven't the archives are on YouTube go to youtube.com look for Anon Junior if you're watching this on Twitch or Mixer there's a link down in the description down there to get you the YouTube archive because we, we've talked about it before um and, and if you're on YouTube already, then, well, you know, you know, just keep going back in the timeline. <laughs> yeah, we come a long way. Arcadius was working on some different banner designs. That was one of the things that we were working on off camera, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I've finally gotten a lot more compact in my storage because think about this. This is the same thing that took up three floors on my base the last go round. This, this room occupied three floors of my dwarven base. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, no, no. Don't, you don't hear what I'm saying. The, 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 the shulker boxes here have helped immensely because we don't need two double chests for each thing. Oh, that's right. We're not in creative. Somebody needs to sleep. <laughs> I guess I used to run it around a creative and go, ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> and so now you see the uh, build evolution too. Like with this deal right here, I was trying for a different roof style. It never quite worked and I still haven't gotten around to building a new roof. Um, I wanted something a little bit more shallow, but I've with as um, <laughs> I'm trying to double jump into fly on creative. Uh, <laughs> that's not going to work. But with as far away from it as it is, that that's just not going to work. So I might have to, I might cut it down a little bit. So it's flat until we get to the incline. Uh, but that was always a later project anyway. I still would like to build a little bit of an overhang there so it's a little less drastic a drop off. I gotta finish the other side of my hill here. 
I started work a little bit on a desert temple because uh, the fourth rail over here is going to come out and go this way past the alpaca, uh, sorry, the llamas and the sheep. And it's going to come in over here to this desert temple. And I'm going to start building my own little desert fortress, maybe even ship a couple of villagers over here. I've got a surplus. Uh, <laughs> And then start building a giant desert village. I remodeled the pit and I'm going to start building some rooms and floors. Fill in that hole that I keep falling through. <laughs> and early on in the season, for all our trading and where we got our initial two villagers, there should be... Yeah, here it is. Here's the village. Now, those two gave me a hard time about my villager protection system. Can, can you? Mm -hmm. It's my villager protection system. <laughs> yeah, they're protected. Hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> the weaponsmith. He's still. Oh, that's right. He's got a looting sword. Where I got all all the initial looting swords. All right, Bob. Back in the hole. <laughs> but they survived. That was the problem. Is we, you know, we want we were worried about the villagers not surviving. I mean, we really should come back, light it up, build some walls, and. uh Put a couple of golems and let these guys go free again. Except, oh, now it's the now it's the new village mechanic. So we got to make sure that we put beds down because they don't care about doors anymore. They care about beds. <laughs> yeah, because they do have the farm still. Oh yeah. This is where we got our pumpkins to do the initial little bit. and Oh, yeah. But th this village is pretty much as it, as it spawned. We never did any terraforming over to any of this stuff. Kind of let it, let it be. We might have to come in and maybe... Uh, I don't know about next week, but... Definitely in the near future, maybe come in and do a villager village overhaul and then set these guys free. Yeah, that would, that would be a fun group project. Do some city planning. <laughs> All right, I'm running out of rockets. All right, I got I got a couple left. Uh, which way was back? This way. I was got lost on the way back. And that was why I had the giant Ashira pole of your bases here. All right. Nope, wrong direction. Well, all right then. Uh... And now I'm out of rockets. Oh, wait, no. I got more in my backpack. And that's why I have a backpack. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We thought that was so far away. And the desert temple was far away. And we were far away from each other. And everything was so spread out. And... <laughs> It's funny how perspectives change over time. I mean, look, again, we went from all sharing a small confined base and thinking it was huge and palatial to building separate bases and thinking they were huge 
They were just huge. Way too huge. And now look at what we got. And even now, I, 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 I won't speak for you guys, but I know I'm feeling like my castle's a little... Not quite as big as I'd like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you guys haven't seen all the different renditions that this thing that Reyes has built came in. Like, it was as long as it is and as wide as it is, but it was perpendicular to the river and or sorry parallel to the river instead of perpendicular and these temples had some funky stairs going up to the side and uh that that didn't quite work out can't get into or out of oh just jump or relog oh 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 hello skelly not in creative right now, so you're going to have to die the old-fashioned way. Where'd you go? Oh, that would have been awesome if I could have pulled that one off. Ooh, new boots. Yeah, and Reyest has literally drawn a line in the sand, so if any of us are feeling <laughs> a little bored... And we got durability on the shovel. She wants the desert pushed back. Further than it already is. I believe that is her line in the sand right there. <laughs> yeah because i don't know if you noticed uh even in this season we've got a lot of very structured shape thing going most of our terraces in seasons past and and even to an extent now have a very uh linear level structure straight lines and things everything orderly and in its place a place for everything and a thing in its place all right with that i'm gonna go find a safe place oh um i also before i call the stream done will apologize to rayest live on stream she had an armor stand over here that looked cute and wonderful. And some admin, this guy, uh, learning the commands to get rid of those two dirt blocks from the gravestone that didn't disappear over by the Angry Fish Farm, um, accidentally deleted the armor stand that was over here when I intended to delete the armor stands that were part of that gravestone. I also deleted the armor stand that was on top of my base in trying to do that. So I will be fixing that off camera over the next week. And I don't know if you noticed by the paintings, but I've also been playing with the texture pack a little bit and learning about setting up custom, custom paintings. So we got a Jebba. He's so cute. He's so cute. I'll have to cycle through all the paintings and get one of each and maybe set up a little gallery so you see exactly what's where. Yeah, yeah, we, we leveled a lot of this. This was where we decided to cut off the incline from before because I want to say this was the main level for a lot of it. And then we cut it down. All right, let me go find a safe place to be. And, and then I will... Uh, do my little ending bit went a little bit longer than normal so i hope you enjoy that little nostalgia trip i'm going to try to edit and trim that into something a little more coherent we'll see how that goes um or i may just end up re-recording it uh, if i can't manage to make it all work but uh we shall see let's go this way 
And this is where I say thank you for joining us on the stream. If you would like to help support what we are doing on the Coffee Craft server, live.anonjunior.com will take you to where you can give donations, tips, however you want to phrase it. Eventually, I will start having some merch on there as well. That's one of the things that we're going to talk about is how we want to handle that sort of thing. If it's everybody, everybody doing their own thing, um, or if we're going to split what I'm doing with the server maintenance, because, you know, servers ain't cheap, yo. Uh, so we'll make that happen. And we do this. I do this live every Tuesday, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And I also do another stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, Games Revisited, where I take a look at some classical games and I look back at um, fun stuff, a me medium paced playthrough. You know, I try to explore all the game, but I don't I don't go deep, deep into the lore. So it's pretty much all all the stuff that you're going to get from playing all the quests, but not uh agonizing over every little thing in the game trying try to strike a balance there and that is thursdays at 6 p.m u.s eastern i used to do a world of tank stream on fridays that is currently on hold it will return at some point in the future i just i at this point i do not know uh when that will be so uh if you want to see past episodes, Mixer and Twitch will keep them as long as they'll keep them, and they will always be available on YouTube. So if you're not on the YouTube channel right now, down in the description for Mixer and Twitch, you'll see the link to YouTube where we'll have all that. And if you are on YouTube, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. That will help boost up the uh the episode results it'll help uh get a little more traction and you'll have access to everything you'll know you'll know as soon as i get these archived episodes up and all that good fun so thank you have fun hope to see you next time